Well, it seems like 4G networks haven't been around for all that long, but soon it will be all about 5G, and there's something beyond pure speed to get excited about. So when we're talking about how fast 5G will be, it'll be about 10 times faster than 4G when it's at its like peak, which is almost never if you have a regular cell phone, <laughs> right. if you notice that. So it'll be faster than faster what, what, what we have with 4G. So by contrast, 5G used to be more reliably fast as well. So you know, sometimes your cell phone will slow down in those crowded areas like city centers and stadiums. They say that with 5G, you shouldn't have any problems staying connected. Should also accelerate new technologies like augmented reality, help self-driving cars, and link everything from pollution sensors to health monitors. So the technology goes beyond beyond just what, you know, most of us honestly will care about on a day-to-day -day sure. basis, and that's how fast can I pull up Jason DeRush's Twitter account. Right, you right. know, that's all of us are doing when we go For sure, there. for uh, sure. Kim, it's exciting, though. This was supposed to come out in 2020, and now mm -hmm. it's uh, 2019, so it's yeah. like, even faster than I think people were expecting. I know, and I'm probably the really annoying consumer here, but I feel like this should have happened two years ago. I'm just, what? I've grown so <laughs> impatient with my cell phone speed. Kim's now. on 6G already. Oh, gosh, I wish. Uh, but, you know, I mean, we, how frustrating is it, though, when you go into a stadium or whatever and you can't access your Facebook or we can't post your picture it just feels like we've reached a time now where we should be able to do that and also I mean I have an unlimited data plan but I had to switch to it because for that short period when I didn't have it it was so annoying when you're watching a YouTube that you get charged like an extra ten dollars because you've reached your limit we have moved past this we are ready for 5g I say 2019 can't come soon enough very passionate about <laughs> I'm very passionate. I love this. Uh, uh. Well, I mean, Kim is right in that the United States, the wireless speeds that we have here mm -hmm. do lag uh, much of the rest of the world. What's exciting about 5G is that your home devices, which right now, think of how much stuff we have hooked up to the internet in oh, our homes yeah. now. Your home devices could be hooked up using 5G wireless technology. Now, you're gonna need new Wi-Fi routers, you're gonna need new devices, all of your stuff is oh, now boy. obsolete, sorry. Uh, <laughs> Isn't that but, the way it goes with technology, yeah. though? But this whole system could be really a game changer, especially when you think about medical, uh, yes. you think about rural areas where mm -hmm. they don't have great internet service, they maybe don't have great mm -hmm. access to healthcare. The kind of teleconferencing and the fact that you could have that is pretty exciting. It, well, and so the waves that we kind of have right now, they kind of struggle with obstacles. So you think sure. about, you know, your little phone is sends them down, it hits, you know, a tree has to bounce around mm -hmm. it. So this is going to kind of fill in those gaps and it won't have that well, anymore. And, yeah, when you think about like where the future is going with these self-driving cars, they're going to rely on your mm. cell phone in point. your car mm. yeah. con communicating with the state with the stoplights and you cannot have a slow signal during those moments no. you can't have a drop signal so that technology needs to be there for that happen i can't i'm just getting excited for self-driving cars those I can't know. come soon enough you guys are ready for these two years ago yeah. we're ready <laughs>